Hi everybody. I want to talk to you about Microsoft Picture Manager and this is a fantastic tool and here is Microsoft Picture Manager when I launch it you know here are all the images uh, and I can uh, you know select an image for example and uh, let's say I want to uh, take an image this one for example and I can double click it and see now this is opened up in picture manager okay um, if I go to edit pictures I can go to edit and then I can go to resize and I can make this uh, larger or smaller okay so if I uh, this is probably not the best picture to make uh, it's already small so let me do this I'm gonna go I'm gonna close this one uh, and let me let me get a hold grab a hold of another picture okay uh, that's large so let's say let's look at this one for example and let me open that by double clicking okay that one's pretty small too so um, let me go file and exit um, let me go to Microsoft Office picture manager and let's say I take this one okay and uh, I double click on it and I open it okay uh, now nice thing is I can edit this picture how cool so if I click on edit edit pictures see I can do I can change the brightness and contrast I can change the color I can crop I can rotate and flip uh, I could do red eye removal I can resize I can compress the picture so if I want to resize for example okay and uh, uh, let's say I want to resize it to about uh, uh, see this is the original size of the picture is 2240 by 1488 pixels and it gives you the original size now if I want to reduce it I can reduce it percentage wise maybe um, there are various ways of doing this so let's say I want to reduce it by to 70 percent okay so if I do that and go see it goes 1568 by 1042 if I reduce it less let's say I want to get it to about um, a thousand pixels okay um, so I will drop it down to about a thousand okay a thousand eight and go okay ta-da see how easy it is to, to change the size of the picture uh, and so that's that's the kind of thing that you can do and it's a very very convenient tool and then you can go file and save as and save it as a as a slightly different uh, picture okay I could put it put an A in it uh, or a one in it and then save it I'm not gonna save it okay um, but but see this is this is so nice uh, and the other thing I want to show you is uh, let me X out of here and uh, I'm not gonna save this and let me pull up another picture for example and uh, let's say I want to Um, let's say I have a picture like this okay All right. there it is okay now um, see over here where it says rotate left or rotate right if I click on rotate left oops <laughs> I did it backwards so if I do rotate right and then rotate right see now it's the right side up so you can do things like that um, and again I can uh, if I click on edit picture or edit pictures over here I can edit this picture if I want to crop it so I could go crop and then um, let's say I want to crop some of this I can just go like so and let's say I just want my picture I can go like so and I want to do that how nice see now I've just uh, I've, I've cropped my picture uh, 
and I've re removed all the other background uh, and go OK and there it is and I can go again file and save uh, so it's really really a very very useful tool uh, to use okay um, and I'm, I can go file and save it and now uh, it'll be the right side up you know instead of uh, uh, landscape it'll be in portrait view okay so I'm going to X out of it okay uh, and I'm not going to save it uh, but see how nice that is so um, and uh, if you click on the start button and you can go to Microsoft Office Picture Manager or you can go to all programs and you can also go to Microsoft Office and Microsoft Office 2010 and there it is, okay, and I can launch it that way. So either way, you can launch Microsoft Office Picture Manager. Now the thing to remember is, um, if you have Office 2013 installed, it does not. It removes Microsoft Office Picture Manager, and so I'm going to show. I, I, I will have a link uh, in my blog post that shows you how to re-download it uh, on your computer if you've got. Office 2013 okay and include it and it is a very very useful and very powerful tool thank you